Hello everybody and welcome to Spyro Reignited Trilogy on PC. So, yes, this is the remaster of the original Spyro Trilogy. It's bloody gorgeous if you can't tell by looking at it. It runs incredibly smoothly. Like, I was astounded by how well this, uh, this ran. Even at Ultra Graphics, which is what I'm running at at the moment. And not to say my PC is strong or anything, it's not an especially powerful build. But it can run this very nicely, which I'm just so happy about. There we go. Uh, I'm currently in Spyro 1, if you can tell. I've had a go with Spyro 2 and 3. Had a lot of performance issues with 3 when I was streaming that uh, yesterday, in fact. But Spyro 1, I've beaten 100% and I've had very few issues with. Um, as a game, I have a few issues with it. Uh, for example, let me see. Spyro 1 is a really weird one. It's structuring of bosses, especially. Like, uh, first of all, you can actually fight the bosses after only beating one level. I found that a bit odd. In fact, here's the boss for this level. Yes, there he is. His name's Toasty. The bosses are absolutely awful. And I find it just somewhat hilarious. Sometimes I would go into a boss room and wouldn't realize it was a boss. I would just think it was a regular level. Until I actually beat it. So yeah, that's that's fun. Uh, what else? Well, of course it's Spyro 1, so you have the regular Spyro controls. But, they did add some extra stuff to it. They added in a little roll either side, which I don't remember being in the original games. And there is also a Sparks radar for hidden gems. Now, I've got all of the gems so far in this game. In fact, I've got all of the gems. I've got all of everything. So, yeah, not much to do in here now. I just, to be fair, there are just a lot of worlds in here that I really like the look of. But, uh, yes, it's been generally very nice. Low times aren't too bad. Uh, Spyro 3 had some, which I didn't really like. But, uh, yeah, all around, it's just a very enjoyable game. Um, certain bits I'm not as fond of. Uh, the voice acting, for the most part, is great. But they've changed some of the voices, in my opinion, for the worst. Uh, notably is the Tiki Hut voices, which I used to absolutely love in the original. But now, I'm not as big a fan of. And there we go. They're all loaded. Quite nice. Didn't take that long. But yeah, so... It's it's a very nice looking game. It's got good controls. It controls very nicely. Um, they've made some really silly changes. Like uh, certain changes to how mechanics work. The charge pads are different. They're much more momentum based. But I can show that off in a bit. Uh, but what else is there? I can't even remember. But yes... To be fair, Spyro 1 is a very basic game. Spyro 2 improved a lot on it. Spyro 3 is perfect, in my opinion. It is my favourite Spyro game. But you know what? Just having a little run around, you can see there's lots of, like, little nice animations. It's all very nice and bouncy and fun. It's just an excellent game. It really is. And especially the... I don't know. I would have thought the PC port would have improved on some of the uh, issues that people had when the original uh, re-release came out. But apparently not as much as people would have hoped because I've had some severe issues with Spyro 3. Speaking of which, actually, shall we have a look at it? I think we should. Hello and welcome to Spyro 3. Yes. So it's much more like nostalgic for me than Spyro 1 ever was. I mean, I played Spyro 1 a little bit, but uh, not enough to sort of really tell how much it has been updated. Spyro 3, on the other hand, yeah, I know this game like the back of my hand. So I can tell a lot of the changes that have been made with this one. Quite a few. Um, do we have any gems? We have enough. We can buy Sheila. Spyro. Hello. My, my, how funny to see you. And that's money bags. His voice is okay, actually. I won't lie. Some of the voices well, are really good, but others, not so much. Left, so I came here and struck up a nice deal with the local sorceress. Marvelous. Right, just gonna skip past that. We're gonna, we're gonna um, get ah, Sheila Spyro, and do that whole level. Yep. Let's just watch that cutscene. There I, uh, we go. I hope you appreciate this favor I'm doing in letting you out. That's good, of you mate. 
No hard feelings. I love the redesign of Sheila actually with like the hair and so on because before it was literally just a kangaroo. <laughs> so I do love that change. Anyway, there we go. I reckon you be one of them dragons then. Yeah, name Spyro. Never oh yeah, Tom Kenny, one. SpongeBob Spyro. I completely forgot about that. World, you know? Then all of a sudden you left. Poof. Dragons used to live here? Didn't you know? They say it was over a thousand years ago, I think. And they just left? So yeah. as you can see, and you know, the thing is, they've they've they done left, a lot to upgrade the game in sort of like, as well as visuals, them. also vocal I mean, performances and so on. And music. The music's the all remastered, I believe. Ships, and it sounds singing, very, very forests, good. Stones, you name it. But there we go. Left, it all just dried up. Is that why some of the portals don't work? It is worth yeah, saying, you can get the original music as well, which I have done a few times. It's very good music. Always nice to listen to. Come visit any time you like. There we go. Right, so shall we do Sheila's Alp? I think we shall just have a little run through of a level. Shouldn't take that long. There we go. Ah, oh, now that's better. To be fair, I think a lot of the problems Thanks I had with it would have been because now I was I uh, streaming at the time. Sorcery. Anyway, there we go. We go in. Hiya, Sheila. That you ago, Hello, Billy. A bunch of rhinox kicked us out of our houses. Ah. It's okay, though. Bobby, Pete, and I, are I do love their voices, actually. They're not, like, back. as cartoony as the original, but I do love the uh, goat voices. Right. One of my favorite levels, honestly. Sheila's out. Um, it's a very small level, but uh, it's very good at the same time. There we go. Also, Sheila bounces along in time to her music, which I love. Like, little details like that are just absolutely amazing to me. Right, there we go. We'll just get some gems. I'm definitely not going to try and beat any levels 100%. Oh, there we go. He was walking into the wall for a moment. Lovely. Right, they're going to bounce up. Oh, lovely. Yes, I've just done it. Perfect. Right, there you go. Can I get an egg from you? At last. Here, I was saving this to make an omelette, but I think Lovely. you deserve it more. I, am, I love some of the lines for why these uh, just random people have these eggs. I think that's one of my favorite, actually. Just like he's going to make dinner with it. Anyway, there we go. And once we get all of these uh, eggs, I think we can go on to the Tiki Lodge. And I can have a big old rant. Because, yikes. Those, the voices for the Tiki Lodge are just... I don't know. They rub me the wrong way. They really do. Anyway. Anyway. Bouncy, bouncy. Yes. Lovely. Love it so much. Right. There you go. Give me an egg. Sheila, let's play a joke. Take this egg and smash it on Billy's house, okay? I need to get him There's a lot of hate for Billy in this level. I can't remember, like, it being so bad. Anyway. We got Jenny. Jenny does a chicken dance. Jenny is adorable. There we go. Right. How many are there here? Oh, no. We won't have enough for the Tiki Lodge. Oh, that sucks. Oh, you cheeky sod. Right. Well, at least I can remember what to do here. Bouncy, bouncy. There we go. Oh, and you get so many gems. I, I won't lie. I seem to remember getting, like, several game overs on this bit just because I got overladen by Rhinox. Anyway, let's get rid of you, you, you. There we go. Right, so now would be a good time to just... You know what, actually? I'll get rid of these first. Lovely. But yes, so is that all of them? No, it isn't. Come on. There we go. Better. There we are. Oh. Right, so with the Sparks Radar, just... Uh, yeah, if you press in the circle pad on the D-pad, uh, or rather on the controller, you can uh, have sparks automatically aim you towards any gems you've missed. Which is really useful. There we go. Lovely. Oh, tell you what. No, we can do it, because I know where there's one in the overworld. That's great. Lovely. There we go. Thanks for the help, Sheila. Oh, you can have this egg I found in my house. Thank you very much for Nan. It's your Nan. And she's a dragon. Lovely. There we go. And the portal forms. Yep, I've got it. Right. Perfect. Absolutely lovely. So, there we go. It's 
it's a very, very... To be fair, the Spyro games were always very fun. I always had a lot of a... I had a great time with them, really. Um, oh, there we go. There's a cutscene. Lovely. This was a weird one. I'm not sure why they put it as soon as you beat Sheila's out. Instead of having it for when you just walked into that area of the map. That's like such a weird change to me. I don't know if that's weird to anyone else. <laughs> Look out, Hunter. It's the scary sorceress. I warned you already. This place isn't safe for small dragons and pussy cats. Ah. Uh. Thanks, but I think we can look after ourselves. Try looking after this. Oh dear. The animations are so much better. I will say, Hunter's voice has gone really weird. Like he's turned into an utter dude, and I don't know why. Say. Is it just me, or is she kind of cute when she's angry? I think it might be because that's how later ones did it, but, like, originally, he had, like, a coward voice. It was really, like... I don't know. That's one of the weird voice changes to me. Um, not to say it's badly voice acted at all. It's it's still voice acted really well. Right, these well, are the guys. I did a party at the Tiki Lodge, and the portal to my home just stopped working. Maybe the portal will reactivate after a few more dragons hitch. So, I've got a couple of uh, things for his voice. Like, the original one sounded like the Monarch from Venture Brothers. And that was just such an amazing voice. I'm so disappointed they changed it. But the other thing is, like, I don't know. The original designs, I think, looked better for these guys. Like, I don't know. Um, they appear to be made out of stone now when originally they were made out of, like... Yep, there we go. Whereas originally they were, like, actual wooden heads, so... I don't know. It, it's not an awful change, but it's not one of my favorites in any way, shape, or form. Right. Tell you what. I'm sure we could run through this one quickly. Rhinox are running rampant around here, but I can't get anyone out of the Tiki Lodge long enough to do anything about it. Oh, dear. Well, that's what we do. Oh, also, you may have noticed, unlike the original Spyro games, there's a little map in the corner. You can turn this off, but... Uh, I found that to be incredibly useful. Certain levels, I just got completely lost in, in the uh, original Spyro. So, yeah, I, I really appreciate the added sort of like, you know, you're an idiot. Here's a map. I love that. To be fair, I'm surprised we didn't get one in the original. But, uh, you know, that's all good. And there's another little dragon. Lovely. Right. Yum it. Oh, you cheeky bastard. Right. There we go. Oh, uh, anything else? Yep. There we go. Lovely. Right. I seem to remember where a few eggs are, but not too many. Yes, yes. Oh, dear. Right. Now, that's one of the things. The tutorial sort of like Zoe zaps. They're just... I don't know. I think they're overdone. Or rather, they're placed in... I don't know. I wish there was a way to turn them off. Because they normally come around after you've already learned to do something. And I just got burned. Oh dear. But no, because a lot of the Zoe zaps tell you how to do something once you would have done it at least three times. Like, it's a weird one. I feel like it's something that they should have put in either the first world or maybe in the overworld. But no, they didn't, they didn't do that. And I'm not sure why. Right, there we go. Come on. Tell you what, we can go this way. Lovely. Hey, come here, biggie. Lovely. Uh, there's a Sergeant Bird level in here, but we're not going to get to that. Um, but there we go. Level yeah, done. Take this egg. They were giving them away at the Tiki Lodge last night. Marvelous. Right, there we go. We got Curly. <laughs> Lovely little old Curly. Right. There we go. Lovely. Now, you may also remember Spyro 3 was the Spyro with the skateboarding because it was the 90s and everything was meant to be cool and skateboarding. Um... That actually has been updated really well. In fact, I'd love to go and show that off. I'm trying to think if I remember any of it. Uh, let's see. It's in the first level, I rem I believe. Let's have a look. I actually really want to do some uh, skateboarding now. Right. But there we go. Uh, I will be doing live streams of this game for a little while. Because, I don't know. I love the Spyro games. I really do. And Spyro 3, as I say... First Spyro game and only Spyro game I'd played, so I didn't even realize there was a Spyro 2. Are you a dragon? I yes. I believe your kind really exists. 
Also, am I the only guy who thought these guys used to be bears? I used to think they were bears rather than dragons. Uh, dragons? Lions. My god, I cannot do words. Anyway, let's go do some skateboarding quickly before we finish up today's video. Right, let's have a look. I think this is it. Yes, it is. Lovely. Right. So, the skateboarding actually has some really good controls. I just suck at them. <laughs> right. I'm trying to remember. There are a few moves that you can do. I think one of them is the Nasty Nork. Um, wait a minute. There we go. Hey, the Raging Ripto. That's it. That's a good move. <laughs> oh, my God. You know what? When I first played this game, I used to do nothing but the skateboarding. Like, seriously. Oh, no. Why? Ah, oh, come on. I could have had a gulp. Or a thrasher. If you do it the other way, it's called a thrasher, and it's amazingly weird. Right, there we go. Hey, I got a crush. Lovely. Why did I think it was thrasher? Right, let's get the other one. Oh, no. Oh, dear. But no, just to be fair, this is just so beautiful. It really is. I, I can't get over how gorgeous this game looks. It, it's insane. Right. What the hell happened there? I was pretty sure I was going to crash. Anyway, but yes, this game is an absolute gem. It's an absolute monster of a retitle, remake, whatever. There we go. T tell you what, let's try and get the uh, gulp as well. Come on. There we go. That's better. Right. 28 seconds left. I, I think I can get over 10,000. But uh, probably not. There we go. That's not bad. Right. Let's try and get another uh, Ripto in. Right. Actually, no. We're not going to get time for a Ripto. Nope. Definitely not going to. Right. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. No. Ah, well. Um, beat my course record, so that's great. Anyway, there we go. Um, I'm going to leave it there for today, everybody. To be fair, if you've played the original Spyro games, you've played this. Except now it's beautiful. And it plays really well. And it sorted out a lot of issues which there were with the original game. But yeah, <clears throat> really, really can't get better than this. This is how I think all remasters should be compared. It's just an absolutely perfect example of what you can do. Like the uh, Crash Trilogy, except Crash did some things. I, I don't know. Crash, I feel, improved, but not in the ways that Spyro has. I think Spyro just went above and beyond. Anyway, there we go. Gonna end it there for today, everybody. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, please remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And if you didn't enjoy today's video, well, there's always a button for you as well, so don't forget about it. In any case, there you are, everybody. I've been Toggle Jam, this has been Spyro, and I'll see you next time.